Hey there, I'm Farmer Brad and today is October 31st. They started, uh, the quail started hatching on Friday evening and so it's Sunday morning so I've waited about 36 hours. Um, even though you're really excited when they start hatching, you don't want to open this up because that can create some drafts and then it can cause the other eggs in there sort of that membrane sort of gets stuck on them and uh, can impede them hatching so waited uh, 36 hours now it's time to get them in the brooder but before I put them in the brooder I want to go over what I have in the brooder set up because you want to make sure you have the brooder ready before putting them in there okay so down here I have a tub that's low it's a sort of a stiff plastic water trough and then I have wood shavings down here now here I have a heat lamp and there's hard wire cloth on the bottom side of it and this is a bucket and it's mainly just to help secure and keep the heat lamp safe from falling or causing a fire really now here's the water I have this water cup I'll try to monitor to see um, if that's too big of a cup for the quail because they are really small uh, so I'll assess that I have this feeder here but I'm gonna take the lid off because I'm a little concerned with how small they are that they might get trapped inside of there okay so now I have this and I'll place it there I picked up some of the southern non-GMO soy free chick starter grower um, I haven't fully figured out what feed I'm going to uh, feed them but uh, this I figured would be a good quality uh, thing to start them on and since they're so small they probably won't eat that much and this video is not sponsored by other natural feeds so I'll go ahead and pour this in there now it's very important with a brooder to have your heat source in one spot so they could self-regulate and you also don't want them to get trapped anywhere so I have enough room back there that they can run around that I also am not sure how flighty these birds will be so I may have to put uh, fencing material on the top of here but let's see how many have hatched here they are let's count them out one two the 24 have hatched already. I'll go ahead and get these back in the incubator. You know these back in there
So what I'll end up doing is sort of monitoring the quail, seeing how they interact in there, and if I need to adjust that water, I will. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Uh, you want to keep track of how many hatched and your fertility rate. We got two more in here that are trying to zip open the shell and so um, we'll see how they go but um, yeah the ones that are out here are looking really good and I'm excited to get uh, cleaning out their space and they'll probably be in this brooder for one to two weeks um, might even be longer depending on how the temperature in the barn ends up getting um, but I plan on insulating that and getting uh, some cages built. So uh, thanks for following along in this quail journey. Um, make sure to subscribe and I'll be putting all these videos together in a playlist. Thanks and have a great day.